let's create a new pipeline name it accordingly we'll need a parameter we'll create it later drag a notebook activity go to azure databricks select the link services uh, check out my other video to see how to create a databricks link services testing connection now edit just to show you how a link service to azure databricks looks like it's on a particular workspace go to settings navigate to the notebook that you want to execute create an input parameter pick the param pipeline parameters which we didn't create we'll create it now we'll select the pipeline create a parameter called name and now that parameter would be available then name this space parameter as input just to show you what we have created what notebook that we are going to execute in databricks validate it publish and trigger it's still getting still publishing wait for publish to complete published now trigger now pass in the input click finish pipeline is running now and eventually it would invoke a job in databricks you should be able to see see now it's initiating a cluster databricks cluster 